GPS or Global Positioning System. You probably use it every day without even necessarily realizing it. If you actually use it to drive around, go somewhere and, and you need instructions, obviously you realize you're using it. But a lot of apps inside of your phone actually utilize GPS. And it's not just as simple as having satellites shot up into space looking down on Earth to actually give you your correct position and making sure that they do maintain this accuracy in order for you not to end up in a lake, having the correct weather forecast and many more applications. Well, well, what if I told you that you could actually earn some passive income by helping do just that? Hey, what's up, peeps? It's your boy Marcel, aka Smellcam. I hope you're doing well today. I'm wearing the Formex Essence 39. I can't get enough of this watch. It's just like sheesh, shine even more. If this is your first time on this channel, I talk about everything related to passive income cryptocurrency, crypto mining, different side hustles, etc, etc. If that's something that you might be interested in and you feel that by the end of this video I provided you with useful information, please make sure to scroll down a little bit and hit that subscribe button, maybe a like, maybe a comment. You probably will have questions about what we're about to discuss today. Enough with the sales pitch, let's hop into it. If you're actually new to this channel, you might not necessarily be a cryptocurrency enthusiast. You might have just YouTube searched passive income 2023 and ended up on this video. Well, let's take 20 to 30 seconds just to make sure that you understand everything, right? There are a lot of scams in the cryptocurrency space, but there are also a lot of legit real world projects with real world use cases. Now, these projects will actually create a cryptocurrency token in order to reward people that help them grow. People can help them grow in different and various ways, but today we're going to talk about one way that is probably the most well known by people that aren't into cryptocurrency and that is mining. There are thousands and thousands of cryptocurrency tokens that you can mine, but today we're going to focus on a token called Fry. The advantage of actually mining this token is that unlike mining Bitcoin, you've probably heard in the news that those Bitcoin miners use a lot of electricity, generate a lot of heat, a lot of noise, and are expensive to run and to actually purchase. Well, on the opposite edge of the sword, you also have what is called low power mining, which means that you'll actually be using very low electricity. These machines won't make any noise and they'll usually cost a couple hundred dollars, around $230 in today's case, instead of a couple thousand dollars. If you missed my first video on the Fry Cryptocurrency Miners, I strongly suggest that you go do that. I'll leave a card right here. I did also have another video on the profitability that I've had mining with these miners, and I'll leave the video also right here. But those were a different kind of miners. Today, we're going to talk about basically a different kind. The first ones were bandwidth miners, which took some part of your unused internet bandwidth to provide service as a VPN. But we started talking about satellites in the beginning of this video and how you could make money with satellites. And so today we'll be taking a look at the satellite miner from Fry Foundation. As you can see, it is basically just a, a Chrome box made by Asus, and it does have a couple marks on it. There's a little tag that says number four, and that is all because of their green initiative. As there is a lot of tech waste in the world nowadays, this company took the initiative of actually recycling equipment in order to provide customers with lower prices and actually do good for this planet. But there's another thing that you can see on there, and that's gonna be none other than this GPS dongle. I'll put this aside just for now, and we'll explain a little bit more about what it does, and we'll take a look at its estimated earnings. I forgot to mention, there is a, a little number four on there because I do actually own and operate four of these. So what these satellites miner actually do is they participate in a decentralized GNSS Fry service. Well, GNSS stands for Global Navigation Satellite System, and it's a general term used to describe any constellation of satellites providing navigation, position, and timing data. So these are actually used to help those satellites do a better job and avoid what's called the Kessler syndrome. Now, if you want to read all about that, there's a little bit of information in Fry's white paper. But if you want to get really, really technical, there's a lot of information online, including YouTube, where you'll be able to learn about all those different things that happen to satellites, why they need more help than just being a satellite and whatnot. The important part here is that that data has value and the Fry Foundation is actually able to monetize that value so that you can get some tokens in exchange for it. 
So how about you say we do just that and check how profitable these little recycled boxes are? Well, in order to know that, we're gonna have to know exactly how much electricity these use, how much tokens they make a day, what's the price of the token, what's your average electricity rate, and I, I think that's pretty much it. So let's get into it. We're on CoinMarketCap right now, which is the place that is used to look at the pricing of different tokens, their evolution, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. As you can see, the Fry's crypto right now is priced at one tenth of a cent, which is really low because if you go look on Vestige, which has more data, it's also a way of tracking tokens. And we look at the daily chart, we can see that all time high was actually 12 cents which is huge compared to what it is right now. So while running some math a little bit later on in the video, we'll do a comparison between today's price and the all time high price. Now, the second thing we need to know is actually how much these miners consume in electricity daily. Well, I talked with Fry a while back and this number was around 60 watts, but online I'm able to find other numbers. As you can see, this is pretty much the miner I was holding up earlier. It is a Chrome box made by Asus. And as we can see right here, it says that at its peak, the Chrome box consumed 18 watts and oscillated around 6.5 to 8 watts when idle. Now, these won't be idle, so we'll just go on a base that these actually use 20 watts. Now, obviously, we need to know how much that is going to actually use. So in order to do that, I'll go to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, which will give me the actual price or average price of a kilowatt hour in the United States. So that's going to be none other than 17 cents as far as June 2023. So we'll go into our electricity cost calculator. I've already input 17 cents per kilowatt hour here. We're going to save that tariff and we are actually going to use it for 24 hours a day and as we said 20 watts per hour so that's going to be an electricity cost of eight cents every 24 hours well now we know our cost is going to be eight cents per hour to keep this plugged in let's go take a look at how much it actually brings in when you get on the fry website you're actually going to go to the shop and then satellite miners now there are two of these there's the indoor miner and there's the outdoor miner you can see they're priced at exactly the same amount that is 230 dollars so let's just go and get on the one that is outdoor because it does earn more than its counterpart this one earns 215.72 fry every single day so let's go ahead and input that right here that's going to be around 28 cents of a dollar every single day minus our costs of 8 cents. That's going to be 20 cents a day. Now, what if the price of fry was to go back up to its all time high? We said 215.72 every single day in fry tokens. Now, if the price of the fry token was to go back up to 12 cents, that would be around 26 dollars a day. Now, please remember, none of this is financial advice. I'm just a guy talking about what he tries out as passive incomes and side hustles online. But I'd love for the token to actually go back up to that all time high. And from what I've heard from the Fry Foundation, they have a couple products in the works that might come out soon that might help the token creep back up. So at the current price of the Fry token for one of these machines, one of these miners, you're looking at around 20 cents a day in pure profit we'd love to see the token price go back up and these miners make more which is the reason why i currently have four of these and and running them in order to keep stacking up those fry tokens keep them in my wallet until the price does eventually come back up now i'll have a link down in the description to actually buy these and when you order you have to choose if you want an ethernet cable yes or no and if you want the operating system yes or no now Windows is really easy to install. I'd say just get it without an operating system. You don't necessarily need it. And you probably have an ethernet cable somewhere at home. Just probably don't need it as well. We're gonna click add to cart. So that brings us to $230. And as you can see, you can enter the coupon code SMOLCOUNT. That'll get you an extra 15% off your order or around $34.50 including shipping that will bring your total up to 220 dollars and 50 cents now you placed an order for your miner and you received it all you have to do depending if you have windows set up on it or not that was when you chose to order it 
If you don't have Windows, I'm assuming you're techy enough to install Windows. If you do already have Windows on there, you're simply gonna go back to their website, go to Hardware Minor Resources, then into Downloads, you'll see that you can download the alpha version of the Satellite Miner software, which you'll download and install very simply. There is also a full tutorial on how to do that when you go to Video Instructions Satellite. So obviously you'll have the software right here and the full video instructions right here, which takes around 10 minutes to fully set up. And the last step is simply going to be registering your Satellite Miner with Fry, and this basically takes like two minutes and the registration process is extremely simple and it is explained also in the video instructions now obviously this isn't like crazy profitable or like this won't make you a millionaire but i'm in it for the long run everybody knows that the bitcoin halving is going to happen next year and this usually launches what's called a bull run which means every single token in crypto goes up and if i'm able to hold a huge amount of fry and the token does actually break its all-time high i could be making thousands of dollars considering i have four of these i have four of the bandwidth miners and i might even get a couple of the decibel miners so for those of y'all that stuck to the end of this video i'm actually gonna do you a little favor and give away five of these satellite miners coming out of my pocket including shipping and everything so please don't live like on the moon or whatever because i don't want to pay for that shipping that being said how can you enter the giveaway well it's going to take you no less than actually three minutes to enter the giveaway you have to be subscribed to this youtube channel you have to drop a comment down below on this video make sure to also drop a like while you're down there because like why not and the last step is actually in the description of this video you'll find a link to a tweet and all you have to do is like and retweet that tweet. That'll enter you into the five satellite miner giveaway that will end on August 30th, where I'll pick five different winners over on at Twitter. And yes, I'll be checking if, if you're subscribed and if you dropped a comment here. On that note, it was your boy Marcel, aka Smoke Helm. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll catch y'all in another one. Peace.